Hello, and welcome to a story time. Obviously, titled, How I Got Arrested. Yes, this story is finally going here. I was arrested at one point in my life. Technically multiple other times, but I will get to those eventually. So, I had just turned 18. And uh, for context, a month before I turned 18, I broke my ankle in several places. And now there's titanium pins there. So I am on crutches at this time. Not two weeks later after I turned 18, we had a festival in our hometown. And, you know, we have this festival every year. And this festival, uh, I mean, it's fun, you know, family, go out, have fun. Uh, we weren't there with family. I was, we were there with our, our homies, you know. And there was a, a section of the big city that came out, there, that comes out to this festival every year. And they always come out to, you know, pick fights with, with people in our hometown. Throughout the year, if something happens, they all it all comes to a head at this festival every single year. And you know, it's always crazy. So, obviously, I'm siding with my hometown boys. I don't really give a shit about any of these city boys. It gets to the point where we're, we're all standing on the street, opposite sides, yelling at each other, kind of, all across the street, lined up, looking like we're about to clash in a fucking medieval melee. But no, we didn't, and there was multiple police that kept patrolling in between us and making sure we, we weren't fighting or anything like that. Everybody, everybody was doing their own, like, oh, trying to be gangster kind of shit, throwing up gang signs and flashing their weapons and stuff. And I'm not going to lie, I, I had crutches, weapons of their own, but I had my own weapon on me. I had, I had a knife. So eventually, after this one guy was staring at me, because obviously I have crutches on, so he's like looking at me like, what the fuck? But he also looking at me like he wants to he wants to fight me. And I'm like, okay, so this one. He wants to pick the weakest boy out of the bunch. I see. So I'm staring back at him, right? And then eventually it gets to the point he flashes me his his weapons, just a can of mace. And I flashed my knife handle at him. And clearly he couldn't see the the entire thing, but he and his buddies both like went on like, whoa, holy shit, whoa, holy shit, bro. I'm sorry. Like they didn't I couldn't hear them at all. They were all the way across the street, but they were all reacting that way. And I'm like, just, you know, shaking my head, whatever. And then eventually the police come through. They're all fucking, like, telling us all to disperse. And they're all fucking getting angry and shit. Search, starting to search people's bags and stuff. So everyone starts taking off in droves. They fucking try to get me. They did get me and search my bag, but they didn't even search my waist, buddy. But they did find my alcohol in my bag and dump that on me, which sucked. The guy was a dick about it. But whatever, it was my ex-girlfriend's dad who was a cop, so... It made sense that he kind of picked me out of the bunch. Also, I was in crutches. Easy target. So, fast forward throughout the night. I get dropped off just outside the local bar in town. And I see this group of people just all chilling out in the, in the bar parking lot. And I'm like, okay, I don't know who the fuck they are, but whatever. I'm walking across the street. Well, hobbling across the street. Oh, by the way, with this whole group of people, there was a police SUV there with its lights on parked. In the parking lot, talking to that gigantic group of people, I'm assuming, probably making sure they disperse or something and not gathering in a parking lot. So, I'm, I'm hobbling along, and I see this police officer talking to this guy. He looked pretty familiar, you know? He kind of looked like the guy who was staring me down from the lineup before. And I was like, oh, so those were all the city boys, eh? Okay, I see, I see. And then the guy looks over at me as he's talking to the police officer, because the police officer is talking to him, so probably asking him questions, you know? Whatever, that shit happens. But then he looks over at me. And then points his head in my direction. Like, you know, that, you know that you know that knob where you're pointing to somewhere with your head? He does that to the cop, looking at the cop. And the cop pulls out a notepad and starts writing something down. After he looked at me. And I was like, oh. Thinking to myself, anyway. Oh. So it's going to be like that. I see. So I continued to crutch him along. And now I don't have any power to do anything to this guy. I mean, I'm in crutches. I'm not going to go hunting him down and trying to, trying to hurt him for obviously snitching on me. But it did piss me off. <laughs> I decided to go back to the festival myself looking for another one of my homies. And I found one of them, but it wasn't the one I was looking for. But, you know, I knew he knew where my other homie was. So I stopped to say hi to him. And, uh, by the way, some other crazy shit happened before this story earlier in the night but i will talk about that in a different video because that one requires a video all, of, all of, in it of itself i was hobbling my way towards the festival ground and eventually i ran into this 
one dude who I knew, he probably knew where my homie was. And I was looking for him at the festival grounds, who apparently at this time was looking for me as well, and I was on my way there. Uh, anyway, so, I see him on someone's property. I didn't know whose property it was, but it was someone's property. And he's banging on the door, just banging on this door and yelling and screaming and asking for this one dude to come out and fight him. And I'm like, dude, does that dude even fucking live here? I'm pretty sure he doesn't even fucking live there, bro. I'm yelling at him. I'm at the end of the driveway yelling at him. I'm not walking onto this person's property. I'm not being associated with that. I'm just trying to tell him to fucking stop. <laughs> I was yelling at him to stop, and I was like, bro, what are you doing? And then there, eventually I could even hear them yelling from inside, we're calling the police. And then that's when he turned around and, you know, started to speed walk out of there. And I'm like, well, dude, wait for me, man. What are you doing, man? Why, why are you doing this? Why are you knocking on this person's door trying to bash it in? Like, that's stupid. Like, how drunk are you, buddy? And he was pretty drunk. But then again, I was too. So, I mean, the whole town was goddamn blasted. So we're... I'm, I'm trying to catch up to him. He's like a good 15 feet or a uh, good 15 feet ahead of me. And then suddenly out of nowhere, this one guy looks about 30, 25, maybe 30, comes walking up to him like he's going to fight him and then shoves him to the ground. He went to the, my, my buddy went to the ground faster than, faster than you can say what. And he was flat on the ground, but he got back up just as fast as well. And he was ready to fight him, but the guy was already starting to walk away because, well, guess what? As soon as he went flat, flat onto the ground, there was white lights, very, very bright LEDs, suddenly popping up behind us. And he got up like, oh shit, and then started walking very fast in the opposite direction. And I was like, well, I'm assuming that's a police officer. So I moved off to the side of the road so they could pass me. They didn't pass me. And then I look up ahead and what, what turns onto the road up ahead? That's another police officer, police car. Oh, okay. And then they start pulling up faster and pull up real quick right next to my buddy up ahead. He's like still about 15 feet, 15 meters up ahead. And they just all come out of the car, fucking guns up, pointed at this dude. And he had a red hat on, by the way. And they're all yelling at him, calling him Red Hat, saying, Red Hat, get on the ground, get on the ground right now. And they all like run up to him and just shove him to the ground, not even giving him time to even react. And they just shoved him to the ground, and I was like, oh, shit. So, and I didn't see that the police SUV passed me, so I kind of knew I was going to get involved in this one. So I pulled out a smoke, and I thought to myself while lighting it, well, I'm getting arrested. This is going to be fun. And then, yeah, I hear crunching, I hear crunching in the gravel behind me. And I was like, uh oh, well, here they come. And then I look behind me a little bit. You know what I see? You know what I see behind me? This is real fucking stupid, man. And th I don't even know why they did this or did that. But it was real stupid, man. There was two cops behind me. Not just the one walking up on me on the gravel. In a, uh, just across the ditch in a little tree, just behind a tree on someone's property, was another police officer with his hand on his waist looking right at me. And I don't know if he's holding his taser or if he's holding his gun. I don't know what he's doing, but he's fucking got his hand on his waist, staring directly at me, trying to hide behind a tree. He wasn't hiding very well, because I could very clearly see him. But, I don't know. Maybe he thought I had, like, some kind of long-range weapon. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have crutches, bro, and a knife. And then I get a tap on my shoulder. This guy, this guy, he had to really, he hit me with a line that, I'm never ever gonna forget because he he did uh, really hit a nerve there. As he taps me on the shoulder, he says, "Crutches, turn around." I turned around, right? Yeah, obviously, police officer, right? And he's like, "Okay." So, pulls out his notepad, and then he says to me, word for word, "Heard you had a big ass knife on you tonight." And I look at him like with wide eyes, like, "Oh shit, you're the guy." You're the guy he was talking to. Okay. So, he's definitely going to search me now. Like, there's no there's no way he's not going to search me. <laughs> so, uh, I was like, I right, yeah, yeah, I got, I got a knife on me. Uh, and I pulled up my shirt and showed him the handle. He was like, oh, okay. Puts on his fucking rubber glove and then he fucking daintily picks it up with his two fingers, you know. Just daintily picks it up and it keeps going, right? It, it just keeps going. <laughs> It just keeps fucking going. <laughs> and then by the time he got it completely out and he looks at it, he whispers under his breath, Jesus fucking Christ. 
puts it on top of his cop car and says, read me my rights. And I was like, well, shit. Yeah, put me in cuffs right away. Took away my crutches. <laughs> nah, nah, they tried to get me with intended intent to use a fucking concealed weapon. They got me with a bunch of shit. But I had a good lawyer. So yeah, that was fun. Entered a peace bond for a year with so and uh, had a no communications order against someone who I didn't even know was involved and I hadn't spoken to for years before that. So I mean, like, ah, just keep the streak going. Spent the night in a spent the night in a cell and then they sent me home with a promise to appear to court. It was nice. Yes, and then the court justice process. Well, you can probably guess how garbage that was and how long that took. There's a few other more tidbits and shit that happened, but. Uh, those can be explained in a separate story. In the other story that I have planned for this night that happened, because there's two separate stories that happened this night, and, and uh, both of them were kind of kind of stupid. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you enjoyed this story time. It's been a long time since I've done a story time. Hope this turns out well. Hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you uh, subscribe, you know, because, you know, I, I, I'd, love, I'd love to keep you guys around. If you got this far, hit that subscribe button, because you know you want to. Alright, whatever. Have a good one.